or are you looking for an elegant alternative to the bright RGB of today's cases, but you just can't seem to find anything? I can't find anything. Well, in that case, I have just the one for you. Maybe. Now let's have a look at just how worth it the Cypress 3 wood from Okonos really is. So even though Okonos managed to land the Cypress 3 wood in the top five of Amazon's hot and new products, there's only a handful of reviews and that leaves a lot of uncertainties and questions to be answered. So with a very objective scale of five main points that I find are very important in PC cases today, we will be deciding is the Okonos Cypress 3 really worth it? But first, I don't feel like this review would hold any water if there wasn't this disclaimer. Okonos did send me this PC case for free. However, I will not be pulling any punches. This is a completely unbiased, objective review of the case. I think if I had to describe this case in one word, the only appropriate answer would be, this case is smoking. Because, you know, you get it. There's, there's real wood, <laughs> get it? Fire, uh, wood smoking. <laughs> While I expected to like the look of this case, I've always been more partial to the more like futuristic fish tank looks. I think they're more elegant and just cleaner looking in general. The more ergonomic and sleek look to the Okono Cypress Wood is really starting to grow on me. Okay, I swear that's the last one for the video. After taking a closer look here, even the venting holes in the basement of the front panel are cut into more rigid shapes, complementing the vibe of the modern rustic mashup that this case is providing. However, I am just a bit disappointed that they seem to have been using the same backplate as they did from the Aqua 3. So it didn't provide any air venting on the back. It does feel like there's a bit of a whale in this kiddie pool and that's them dogs. They just seem to be a bit of a cop out. We'd at least tell that they put some effort into making them look different, but the direction just didn't really work out for them. I just wish they put a bit more effort into how the feet look. When I first saw them, I just kind of thought they looked like someone did an inverse extrusion on Inventor or, you know, whatever 3D modeling software they use. Overall, I think this is an amazing looking case. And I think even with the bit of nitpicking I did, this case more than deserves a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Funnily enough though, I feel like the triangle vent holes kind of carried this one. Now, even though Okonos is kind of known as being one of those companies that make pretty good products for fairly cheap, that does leave them making some sacrifices in the quality of materials or the amount of materials that they can use. And because of that, they do have to make some sacrifices on a lot of their lower end, cheaper budget cases. The walls are very thin. And of course, the Cypress 3 is not an exception to that rule. It does feel like I could bend it with my hand if I really wanted to, but obviously I don't. However, it doesn't feel like it's going to just shatter and fall and fold like a house of cards, so that's nice. To some people, a more lightweight case is actually a benefit, you know, if they're carrying it from one place to another fairly often. However, I don't, and this is my rating. But there is something that does save it a little bit. This genuine walnut on the front panel right here. They even include this little certification for the wood, saying that it is actually real, which is very nice, because a lot of wood cases don't actually do this. So while this is a great looking case, the build quality isn't quite where I would want to see it. However, it is still very usable. So this gets a really solid 3.5 out of five stars for the build quality. If you're enjoying the video or at the very least finding it helpful, please go ahead and like, and maybe even subscribe to Budget Reboots where we do plenty of PC stuff, but mainly we're flipping PCs for profit. Now, make sure you're sticking around to category number five, just to make sure you're getting the most out of this review and you're spending your money wisely. I love hearing from all of you guys. Why don't you let me know down below if you remember what your first case was for your first custom built gaming PC. So it looks great. It's built pretty all right. But the real question is, what's included? So starting with our front IO, we have a headphone jack along with two USBs and also USB type C. The following of which isn't typically found on PC cases that are this budget minded, which is amazing. I think more should have it. However, just something to keep in mind, not anything against this case, but a lot of lower end slash budget motherboards don't typically come with a USB type C header, especially if they're MATX, which is what this case is. So just keep that in mind when picking out your board. It also comes with four fans, so you can use it right out of the box. Unlike a lot of cases that just sure, don't come with fans anymore. However, I almost wish this was one of those cases. 
mainly because the fans are non-PWM. And obviously, if you're a nerd and you're here watching a case review, you probably know what PWM is, but just in case you don't, that's basically that fourth pin that controls the fan speeds. So these guys are gonna be running at full speed all the time and they are very loud. However, if you game with headphones, hey, who cares? Besides me. A lot of these fans, especially if they are just straight up black and not ARGB in any way, just end up being e-waste. So it's nice that the case can be used out of the box. However, me personally, I don't like the fact that these fans are not at the very least PWM. And because of that, I can realistically only give this case a three in this category because let's face it, what's included isn't a whole lot. It's possibly the most important part and no one ever thinks about it, which is why you see people buying GPUs that are way too big for their cases most of the time. However, you probably won't have that problem with the Cypress 3. Let me explain. While looking a bit on the small side, its listed dimensions are 14.65 by 8.27 by 15.83, which is great because it's small enough to not take up a fourth of your desk. With such a small size, however, it does make it a bit of a chore to work with. More importantly, it can fit most, if not all GPUs. Out of the box, there's 285 millimeters of clearance for your GPU. However, if you move the fans to actually be on the front of the bracket, it'll leave you with 320. I do definitely appreciate how they give us an SSD mounting slot right here, which means if, if we do remove the hard drive cage down in the cable basement, we do have at least one place to put a drive that isn't just an NVMe or a drive flopping around in the cable basement. The cable management in the back is a bit tight. However, if you're running it cleanly, you shouldn't have any problems with that either. But of course, like a lot of other M ATX cases, there are some connectors that are of course, just kind of hard to get to. There's not any good ways to solve them there. That being said, I am willing to give this PC case a four on its layout. And so now it's time for our final point. If there's a one thing that's more attractive than the looks of the Cypress 3, it has to be the price. On Amazons, even including taxes, it only brings this guy up to about $60 USD at the time of filming this. And for a case with real wooden accents, I don't think I have found anything that does it as well or as cheap as the Cypress 3. While I may have just a small issue with the fans that are included in the PC case, it does technically make it a better bang for its buck. When you even take into consideration the USB Type-C port and even a tempered side glass panel, this case is amazing, especially when it comes to a sleek, no RGB modern build. And hey, it's only a little bit more to get new fans if you care as much about them as I do. I think for all these reasons, the Cypress 3 finally earns its first five stars. Now, if you couldn't tell, this is a really nice PC case. Even though the metal's a bit thinner than I'd like, and it's a bit cramped to work in, even as far as MATX standard goes, there are just so many pros. And at the end of the day, what matters is it's a beautiful, well-functioning PC case with real wood grain on the front that gives everyone the chance to build a wood-finished PC that wants one at an affordable price point. And most importantly, after taking up all the scores from all the categories and smashing them together, and averaging them out. The Okonos Cypress 3 Wood gets four out of five stars. The Okonos Cypress 3 is a hundred percent worth the money that you're going to spend on it. The fans, however, are not. Thank you so, so much for hearing me out and letting me tell you what to do with your hard earned cash. Now, please feel free to stick around and watch this video right here that YouTube thinks you'll really like. And other than that, I think we're done here. So y'all have a lovely rest of your day.